huge I mean it's um, a premier race I guess here in the, or it is a premier race here in the fall and, and to, to, to win it with just you know this horse means a lot to us we've had him for a long time uh, going on I guess two years and he's just been a horse that's um, you know he, he's obviously had some setbacks you can see that in the racing for him but he's he's um, he just come back better than ever this this year and uh, he's, um, he's he's a solid horse he lets you know when he's ready to run and he was he, he let us know been telling us the last few weeks he was ready to go again and he didn't let us down. Ravasa was digging in. What were you thinking down the lane? I mean, he's a nice horse, and uh, I thought it could have went either way at the eighth pole. They, they both had to fight hard, and, and you know, Florent did a good job just staying after Leo Freck. He didn't like Florent said. He never wins by a lot, but he, he knows how to keep his head in front. He's a fighter. What are some of the tells that this horse gives you that kind of shows that kind of that indicates you that he is kind of ready just for a big the way race? he acts, the way he struts and just struts around. When he walked in the paddock today, you could just I mean he was he was a handful to hold on to. Not and, and not not you know overly aggressive at all. Just uh, just you know he's just on his game. You can see it. I mean just walking in the paddock today, like I said, he was he was on the muscle. You know I guess would be the best term to describe it. Uh, but you know his mind's right. He, he was ready to go. His mind's right. He's. He was, just, he was just really training well, and, and uh, he, he showed up. He ran a huge race. Uh, did you know he had the potential for a grade one? Well, over the last few months, yes. <laughs> Prior to that, maybe not. So, but now he's, he's really developed over the last uh, few months into to, you know now a grade one horse. And you know, yeah, after the, the grade two at Keeneland, you know, we thought, yeah, this is a horse who could possibly win a grade one. If you'd asked me six months ago, no, I would have told you no, honestly. But he, he's, he, you know, we never gave up on him, and he obviously didn't give up on us, and he, he kept, uh, he kept. You know, keep it on. He's a, he's a solid horse. What effects that he had? Were they just like little minor just, issues? Yeah, or? just some ankle and feet. You know, he had some feet issues. I think, you know, sometimes that comes from the sire. He, we've had several of those. We've had a lot of luck with chocolate around and stuff. But they, they do so, tend to have some setbacks with feet from time to time. But um, he, he's uh, he's over them right now and, and, and doing well. And uh, he showed it today. Brad, will you be discussing the uh, Pegasus World Cup? For this you know, we, we we said something about it. I mean, it's something we can look at. I mean, um, I, I don't, I, you know, he's obviously we don't run down at Gulf Street much, but uh, it's something we could possibly look at with him. So. In respect to the whole year, you start out, you hadn't won a grade one race. Yeah. You've been yeah. placed in grade one. Then you got your, what, your first, second, third, fourth, fifth or so with the big mare. Yeah. And then now winning a grade one with another race. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. We're just... Liz Crow. I mean, actually, we had Long on Value won a Grade One in Canada, and all these horses were purchased in public auction for you know right around a hundred thousand bucks, and um, and Florence rode all of them. So it's, it's been a great year. I think it's seven total uh, Grade Ones, and with three different horses, and all similar. You know, obviously different styles. One's a three-year-old filly. One's a was a seven-year-old gelded a colt, and now we have this five-year-old colt. But uh, it's uh, it's it's been a great year.